before connecting microprocessor, uh, we need to do some preparations. Uh, the input signal over here expects plus minus 10 volts, uh, but microprocessors, even if they have uh, uh, digital to analog uh, converters, they output uh, voltages from 0 to, let's say, 3.3 or 0 to 5 volts. And so we need to scale and shift the, that voltage uh, to minus plus to plus minus 10. Uh, for that, uh, we will use uh, a operational amplifier circuit. Uh, so this is the chip over here, LM324AN. Uh, and uh, I will explain details of that uh, in the next video. Uh, but uh, here I will just uh, uh, mention a few components. So here there is a plus minus 15 volts uh, power source coming in. Um, there is a voltage divider uh, that uh, provides a reference voltage. Uh, and I will explain it later why we need that. Um, we have a voltage regulator for 5 volts uh, that will be needed uh, for a microprocessor in the future. Um, we have uh, three inputs. Uh, one goes uh, over here to uh, control the laser. Uh, there is one uh, that goes to control the x axis and another one that goes to control the y axis. Um, those inputs are from 0 to 3.3 .3 volts and they will be amplified, uh, scaled uh, and shifted by the op amp over here and then transmitted over these wires to uh, the input signal both for x-axis and the uh, laser circuit. Uh, in fact they will be uh, scaled not from uh, uh, not to plus minus 10, but plus minus 13.5 volts. Uh, the reason for that is that during prototyping it's very easy to have a bad connection or something. And uh, operational amplifier might output voltages uh, all the way to minus 15 volts, for example. And you don't want that to go right to your uh, laser, for example, or to the inputs over here. Uh, so instead, I ask operational amplifier to uh, provide plus minus 13.5 volts uh, range and then uh, scale it down to, uh, let's say, plus minus 10 uh, with this uh, voltage dividers over here. So there is some, you know, input protection going on over here uh, just to be on the safe side. Uh, to test the circuit I don't have a microprocessor yet uh, in this circuit. Instead I just have a, uh, another potentiometer uh, that I will connect to uh, one of the inputs and uh, we will check how well that will work. Um, so let me just uh, plug it uh, plug in the 120 volt power supply and uh, then we'll see what happens. Okay, so uh, it's plugged in, the LED over here is uh, lit, uh, but uh, nothing's happening. And uh, it's uh, actually not a surprise because no inputs are connected at all. But here is one input uh, that is um, uh, right here that controls the laser. So what we are going to do is we are going to take uh, this uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor um, connected to the plus 5 volt uh, line over here and then to the input for the laser circuit.
So what we see here is uh, the dot uh, on the cardboard box. So the laser, the laser indeed uh, turned on. Um, so now let's uh, experiment further and uh, connect the uh, potentiometer to uh, one of the axis control. So what we see, the dot will start to move when we change the values of the potentiometer. So that is uh, the y-axis control, uh, linear uh, in the range from 0 to 3.3 volts. Okay, that sounds good. We can also test uh, the same uh, for uh, the other axis. So let me just do that. Now we will uh, uh, change the location of the dot in the x axis. And again it will be uh, from 0 to 3.3 volts. Uh, you can see that once we reach 3.3 volts right here it will stop. I'm rotating it a little bit further but it doesn't move anymore. Uh, so that's all good. Uh, the circuit seems to be working just fine and uh, all we need to do now is to add the microprocessor control.